Hello, I'm Congressman Charles Rangel, and I don't have to tell you that unemployment is at crisis level. Too many of our brothers, sisters, friends, and neighbors are feeling the pain and anxiety of losing their job. That is why in the coming months, creating jobs is my entire priority as we move forward. President Obama's recovery plan goes so far. It's, he has created about 1.6 million jobs. It's a good start, but not enough to make up for the 7 million jobs that's been wiped out by this recession. 16 million Americans have no work. 10%, over 10%, really. The highest rate in 26 years. The rate for African Americans is 50% higher than the nation as a whole. In New York, one out of four Latinos have lost their job in the last year. One in every four children subsist on food stamps. I'm working with the president and my colleagues in Congress to get the economy moving and to speed up the creation of these jobs. The economic recovery plan focused on saving banks on Wall Street and slumping automobile makers may be well. And that's good, but it's not a meaningful recovery if we don't help our families right now. The president's efforts to stave off depression and economic collapse have helped. But millions of Americans are saying, tell that to my landlord. Rebounding economic statistics don't mean a thing to families who can't afford to put food on the table, to pay their rent, to pay their mortgages, and to move on with life. Last week, the president presented his roadmap for job creation to for help for small business so that they hire more workers funding for roads and infrastructure, construction jobs, and investment in families will help provide resources for education and energy efficiency. In the coming weeks, I will be leading the Ways and Means Committee and working with the President to move on this agenda. One thing that we're going to do immediately is extend the unemployment insurance and COBRA health benefits. This is the lifeline for millions of families without congressional action they would have lost these benefits. So in January, not to worry, we will be there. We will be protecting these benefits, and you can depend on that. I'm also working with my Democratic colleagues on this job package as I talk with you now. And that's going to include bonds to finance school construction and the expansion of infrastructure projects across the country. These projects are designed to put immediately Americans to work and to make our country stronger and safer. We will enact aggressive measures aimed at employing young people at this critical time, including the green jobs that we've heard so much about. We must get our disconnected youth, those that dropped out of school, back into school and provide them with opportunities for work through well-funded national service programs. It's worked before, and it can work now, and it must work now. We must boost small businesses by expanding loans and providing support for community banks. We're seeing this, some of this coming back to our community. We have to move faster. There's no silver bullet, but we will do more, and there will be no excess of ideas to combat these unemployment crises that are sweeping our nation. We will be offering fresh, bold solutions to cultivate an economy that works for us all, not just for the wealthy, but for the average American, that is what gives us our strength, and that is where we're going to put the money where our mouth is. So right now, in the midst of this national emergency, we're looking at each other, and we have to get stronger, and we have to get prosperous. So uh, things are getting better, but they're not getting better for most Americans. So I want to thank you for your attention. Thank you for your support and let you know that we're on the case in Washington. Uh, we hope to move in the state and the city, and that we hope and pray for a speedy recovery, not just for the economy, which is moving ahead, but for each and every American who deserve better than they're getting today. God bless you.